Hey Peace Collective, this is Candid Screen. I'm coming at you on Thursday morning. Um, actually, it's still Wednesday morning, but <laughs> I'm recording for Thursday morning. That's why you see me in the same shirt. I'm still at Lake Montebello, but I will be traveling on Thursday morning. So I wanted to go ahead and just record um, this message for you so that it would be here and ready for your eyes and ears and your spirit um, for Thursday morning. Uh, I'm so happy about the response I'm getting from all of you for this series and you're calling, you're texting, you're inboxing me, you're putting comments up on Facebook and comments up on Instagram. Um, <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed by what God is doing and we're only on day 12. Day 12. God, is, God has got so much more to do uh, with and for us. Uh, for the remainder of July, um, I'm just in awe. I'm just in total awe of the Lord. He is so good to all of us. Um, so today, we're on day 12 of our Inhale Peace journey through the devotional. We've been traveling together for the past 11 days, and we've got much more to go. Um, even though this month is going by fast. Before you know it, we're going to be on the 31st. Um, but before we dive into today, um, let us take our peace break. We're going to inhale peace and exhale fear. Inhale peace and exhale stress. Inhale peace. name do we pray amen all right day 12 page 38 the scripture says now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way second Thessalonians 3 16 now may the Lord of peace the Lord of peace give uh, himself give you peace at all times and in every way Peace is a gift. It's God's gift to us. Um, and it is an amazing gift. If you are like me, sometimes you tend to worry, you tend to become anxious, you tend to become um, frustrated if you cannot control things. But yeah, I have some control issues. <laughs> As we all do, it's better sometimes to feel like you're in control of things than it is to feel like you're being pushed willy-nilly. But embracing God's peace means that you accept the fact that you are not in control and that God has the final say. He has every say. But you have made peace with the fact that you're not in control. Not only that, you've surrendered your need to control the situation. And that includes everything, the good and the bad. I'm uh, headed to a convention. Don't know anything that's gonna happen at this convention. Never been to a, uh, uh, anything this large before. I'm looking for agendas, I'm looking for itineraries, I'm looking for information, nobody has it. <laughs> and it stressed me out until I had a headache. And then God said, hey, what are you worried about? You can't control it. So surrender your need to control it. The moment I made the decision to say, I surrender all, God's peace took over. That's a simple thing because it's a convention. But when you are in difficult situations, um, lack of money, um, situations where you're dealing with health issues, situations where you're dealing with issues with your children. That's the wind blowing this camera. At some point, 
you have to give up your need to control the situation. Lord, I do not know how you are going to do it, but I surrender my need to control it over to you. I don't know what's going on with my children, Lord, but I surrender my need to control it over to you. I don't know what's going on with my body, God, but I do know that I can surrender my healing over to you. You are everything we need. God is everything we need. He is our provider. He is our healer. He is our peace. He is our comfort when we are mourning. He is our everything. Whatever you need, you pull from it from God. You need healing, you pray for it and you pull for it. You need peace, you pull from God for it. You need protection, He's there. You need grace, God is there. Mercy, favor, God's love, He is there. This is making me emotional because it is such an amazing thing to know that for whatever you need, God is there. He shows up in your life as that thing that you are in desperate need of. And peace is one of them. They are all gifts from God. God is multifaceted, multilingual. He can meet multiple needs of yours at the same time. But not only is he meeting your need, but he's meeting my need. And he's meeting your sister's need. And he's meeting your brother's need. And he's meeting the need of the homeless person over there. And he's meeting the need of the person in the car next to you. He's meeting the need of your neighbor. He's meeting the need of your colleague. All at the same time. He values each and every one of us all day, every day. God is our peace, the Lord of peace. It says right here, may the Lord of peace give you peace at all times and in every way. Accept God's peace. Accept it. Ask for it and accept it. Surrender whatever it is that is keeping you from the peace of God. And I know that doesn't, I know it may not be easy to do that, to trust God enough to do it. Because we want to do it. We want to be in control. We want to say, hey, God, take it. But then we take it back. Because we feel like God's not working fast enough, that he doesn't really know what we need, that he's not going to meet our, our needs. And like we don't trust the fact that he's not going to meet our needs. When God is saying, Come unto me, all ye that labor. I will give you rest. And that rest is peace. And that rest is being sure that God is going to give you the peace you need to get through the situation. Because he's handled it. He has, like I've said before, an aerial view of our lives and knows how everything intertwines. Every person in your life, every experience you have. Everything intertwines to reach the outcome that God wants. That is amazing. God's peace is amazing. Right now, I'm sitting Lake Montebello. The wind is blowing with water. It's a gorgeous morning and I feel the peace of God here. Surrender to God's peace. Surrender. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Stop feeling like you have to control everything. That is what's making you anxious and frustrated and worried and fearful. Give it to God. His peace will surpass all your understanding, everything. Because what's most important is your alignment with the Lord. He handles everything else. These messages really short. Surrender it all. Give it to God. God's peace is your freedom. I hope this
this message resonates with all of you, please share it with your family and friends. Use today's hashtag and help peace day 12. If you don't have a copy of the book, Inhale Peace, 31 Day Journey to Realign with God's Peace, head over to my website. Actually, head over to my website if you want the Peace Break card. It's under Peace Breaks on my website. The book is under CF Shop at CherishFlight.com. And all of the videos, all 11 of them, later on today, 12, will be on my website for all of you. I pray that today is amazing and that you surrender your need to control so that you can be at peace. God's peace, there's nothing like it. It is amazing. It is amazing once you operate in God's peace. I pray that everyone experiences that. Have an amazing Thursday, everyone. And may the peace of God settle to your spirit.